Saba, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another junk journal walkthrough video. Um, it is 3.30 in the morning when I am recording this video and the only reason that I am not re-recording <laughs> the intro to this video is because I'm just too lazy. So basically what I'm going to show you is a walkthrough of a journal that is for sale and um, the part where I gave you the introduction to the journal and the back of the journal, the spine, that was actually cut off because my camera died <laughs> while I was filming. Um, so yeah, so I apologize for that. So we're just going to pick it up from the point where my camera was charged and I give you a walkthrough of the rest of the journal because I really have a schedule to keep to. I'm leaving town today. We're going to be going, um, I've got like a lot of videos to upload and a lot of work to do. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be like a regular video a la Zahava, but also with merchandise to sell. So <laughs> stay tuned for this video and uh, the one to follow. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. So yesterday my mic cut out while I was filming the intro to this video. So we're just going to pick up from where we left off yesterday. And probably you can tell that the desk is a little bit different, but I did want to give you a walkthrough of this journal nonetheless. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on and let's just get right into, uh, into it where we left off. So again, this, I mentioned the bit about the signature. I did stain it. Um, so that you could see that there was a place to lift. So hopefully that comes across uh, well. And then I have that on the cover page of what used to be a music notebook. So I have music paper on the back. And then we just have like a notepad, some back of Atlas paper. Here I have a little scene from a Cinderella fairy tale book. Uh, it is Cinderella dancing with the prince at the ball. And I have tucked in, I've made that into a tuck spot and I've tucked in just a little napkin in there. And then I have just a variety of papers, a greeting card. Here I have a snippet. So this is a snippet roll that I took off. It is a mix of paper and fabric. And I've gone ahead and stitched that down to a regular piece of construction paper. Um, this little teapot here is actually from a digi pack that I had. And this is, you guys, if you've been here before, will probably recognize this fabric from one of the Moore's bags. <laughs> All right, so moving on, we have some note paper, some double-sided scrapbooking paper, coloring paper, and more construction paper. And again, this journal is pretty blank. I'm going to do another journal after this one. It has like a little more stuff in it, but this one again is pretty blank. I have staged, uh, staged. Wow. I have stitched here a journaling card down onto this piece of scrapbooking paper and put inside a, uh, a, a tag that I stenciled. And of course, the story is completely preserved, completely readable. Little bits of the fabric that I used for the spine, this Clementine and Fiona uh, sunflower fabric is also being used to make journal tabs here. We've got some vintage lined paper, some children's book paper, and again, if anybody wanted to read the story of rags, you still could. In this little bit of folded vintage baby paper, I put a journaling card right here. So it's double-sided. You could cover it up. You could use it as is. It's Christmas theme. I also have a playing card. And this is some wrapping that came from a flower bouquet in some craft paper that has like a print on it. Here I did a little bit of a ruffle trim, also in the same uh, matching Clementine and Fiona fabric. And then here is the center of the first signature where I've stitched around and put a little bits of ephemera in the pockets. So here we have a baked pork chops with apple slices recipe. And then here we have a thinking board. So if you've been here before, you guys know that what I call these little Franken papers, I put them on cardboards. I just like to 
uh, to touch them. They all look a little bit different. In this journal, I decided to go with this shape and size, and I just think they're really fun to touch and uh, just to think on. Like if you need to fidget, I kind of call it a quiet fidget toy. I like them for that. I hope that you guys will like them for that. It's one of my favorite things, but you use it how you like. And uh, so that is the back of that. And then we just gonna flip through real quick, not to bore you guys, a little bit of washi tape. I don't like to have too much white paper. So I always put on in my journals, some washi tape to sort of break that up. But I also don't like to ink too much. So wherever you guys see a little bit of washi tape, that's just me giving your eyes a focal point so that you're not staring directly at like super big, um, white paper everywhere. So again, you can see right through here. Now we're getting into the second signature and we know that there are five. So again, this here was one of the pages that did not really fit in the signatures of the books. It was like an extra uh, page because of the way it was originally bound because it was a vintage book. So what I went ahead and did was I stitched that down to the first page of the second signature. So it kind of ends up being like a little flap up. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then we have uh, some map paper. And then I have another folded piece of paper here. This time the tab is on the top. And in this little pocket, I have a greeting card and I have a little piece of scrapbooking paper that I just folded up real nice and easy for somebody to tuck in there to realize number one that it is a tuck spot and number two they could use it any which way that they wanted in their journal. And then here we have some more music paper and of course the story, a little bit of note paper. Just flip through really quick because I don't want to bore you but I would like to show you what the components are and anything else of interest. Oh yes, here. So here, this was the spread. So I had this little tuck spot here. This time I've sewn it down, which I didn't have it sewn on the other edge. And I have a little card here that says pink. And then I've got a pink piece of scrapbooking paper, some pink washi tape, a pink $5 Monopoly bill, and a pink index card here. So it's just a little pink corner that I have right there of all things pink, um, which I really enjoyed putting together. And here we have another, so there's some graph paper, in case you wanna do any, any math. <laughs> if you wanna do math, you can do math. I don't judge. And here I have another tab and in here a journaling card um, where I have some scrapbooking paper on the back and then on the front I did a little bit of collage. This is using up my uh, paper scraps right here. So um, that could go in. I put it in this way only because it protects the paper, <laughs> uh, but it is Mod Podged on the other side. Um, and then here I have a triangular piece. It's not an envelope. It is a piece of scrapbooking paper that I just folded diagonally and stuck in there because why not? It's a junk journal. And then here I have the second half of the snippet roll that I made again with the fabric and paper. And in this one, here's where you see the little Made by Maurice uh, logo. That's my little presence in this journal. Hopefully you guys, if you decide to buy it, will will not decide to cover it up because it is a part of the snippet roll <laughs> that I put in. And that is the center of the signature. And then there's just a variety of papers here. Um, and the second pocket, this one I left empty, but it does have a little bit of a trim. And what else? Okay, here we are in the, uh, is it the last one, two? I must have missed it somehow because I think we're at the last signature now, which means that I lost count somewhere, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> somehow something went wrong, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I did go through four. I don't know what happened there. This is the last one, guys. So I've got a, an envelope here and on this, page, which is a scrapbooking paper on the back, I put a little um, notepad that I made. So that's got some lined paper and some scrapbooking paper. And it was just like a paper scrap busting uh, project that I did. And I have Pam at the Paper Outpost to thank for this idea because it is just a fabulous way to use up your paper scraps. So I just added that in there. 
Here I have an eight by eight sheet of scrapbooking paper that I folded in two, and it's just a really great um, burst of color, which I love. And then again, the Black Magic Scratch, which um, I may have to find a better way to fix on because this little thing right here is kind of scratching it a little, but I, I like the clip though. I think the clip adds value. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Should I keep the clip or remove it? Um, on this side, I have another piece of scrapbooking paper and this time I have stapled to it a uh, paper cluster for some interest. And I have more scrapbooking papers, more children's book papers right here. Picture of Alexander Graham Bell uh, in, the, <laughs> in the middle. If you're into that, do you guys remember that series of books? They had them in English and in French. And then here I have a little flip out and I have a journaling card and a piece of scrapbooking paper that you could make what you want with, another little tab, just a piece of fabric on the bottom, nothing special there. Um, some note paper and some more blank papers with washi tape on them so that it's less boring. And then here is the back envelope, the last page of the signature where inside we have some scrapbooking paper and a little die cut. And uh, we have a paper clip that has a little ephemera card, uh, game card on it. So this is it guys. This is the uh, Little Golden Book Junk Journal Rags. Uh, the story of rags and I will be posting this one up for sale on my website so you'll probably see it. If it sells at market, I will take it down or market sold, but it's going to be going up for uh, 45 Canadian dollars, which is an excellent deal in my opinion. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and stopping by and leaving your comments and liking the video and subscribing to the channel and I will see you again in the next video. Ciao for now.